In this video, we're going to begin looking at how we can combine like terms. You may recall that a term are numbers and variables multiplied together that are separated by either subtraction or addition. So this first problem has one, two, three, four terms, and the second example has one, two, three, four, five, six terms. Like terms are terms that the variables and exponents on the variables match identically. In other words, when we have 5x, to look for a like term would be to look for another term with x on it. That would be the negative 8x. When we have like terms, we can combine the coefficients, or numbers in front of the variables. In other words, we have 5x's, and we take 8 of the x's away, we now have negative 3 of these x's. Similarly, the negative 2y is a like term to the 7y. Both have a y. If you have negative 2y and add 7y's to it, you end up with positive 5y. We have now combined these like terms to end up with negative 3x plus 5y. We cannot combine the negative 3x and the 5y because x and y are different variables. When we're adding and subtracting, we can only combine like things. Similarly, on this second example, 8x squared minus 3x plus 7, minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 3, when we're looking for like terms, the variables and exponents must match. So the 8 has an x squared. To find a like term, we're looking for the other term with x squared on it. 8 minus 2 gives us 6 of these x squareds. The negative 3x, also looking for a like term, would be like the positive 4x. Negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1x. With variables, we never need to write the number 1 in front of a variable, because we will always assume there's a 1 there. Finally, 7 and 3 are also like terms, negative 3, because they have no variables, and that would be having the variables in common, having nothing. 7 minus 3 leaves us with positive 4, and this becomes our final solution. We cannot combine any of these three terms together because they are not alike. One has an x squared, one has an x, and the last, just a number.